Hey, hi, hello, besties, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daphne, if you're new here. And I'm so excited because I went to, oh, are you so excited too? Sorry, my cat is saying hi also. Um, I went to the, <laughs> he's very talkative right now. I went to the RIP tour for Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. It was my very first time ever going. I'm so excited to take y'all along. Ended up filming the intro when I got home from Halloween Horror Nights and I didn't realize that this ended up also. <laughs> so here we are with the tradition of starting it. Spoiler, RIP is the best experience. Do you agree? He agrees also. <laughs> it's the best experience ever. <laughs> to Universal to check in for our RIP tour. One thing that is really cool with the tour is that you get complimentary valet parking at Universal and you also get your own security line to go into as well which really helped out because the line was super long to get in as you can see all of the people heading in as well so we checked in we got our lanyard they also had free bottles of water up there as well which was really nice so we're just kind of just checking out the crowds and everything we actually got there about an hour before our tour started and we actually could have used our lanyards if we wanted to go through any mazes beforehand but we decided just to kind of walk through the scare zones and actually get some coffee since the event was open till 2 a.m. that night and we stayed almost till exactly like closing and everything too and then we found out that every half hour there's this little like kind of show that happens with the toys in the first scare zone and it was so cool <laughs> was the absolute best. I cannot speak more highly enough of him. He was absolutely amazing. We actually made it over to dinner first, which was over in the Front Street area at the Moulin Rouge building. They had a really cool little photo op set up there and we made it in and they had pink lemonade, which I was really, really excited about because I super love pink lemonade. And they also had some fancy water, which I just love the name of it. They had some coffee and tea options as well. And then they also had a really incredible dessert bar area that had all these different types of cookies and they had chocolate covered strawberries and these like pinwheel cookies that looked really cool they had like an apple crumble dessert and flan 
all sorts of stuff like pumpkin cheesecake definitely a lot of stuff I just loved all the decor in here as well they also had tri-tip that you could get with like horseradish sauce and then they also had like chicken tenders and french fries and pizza and chicken wings and rolls they had so much incredible incredible food they also had pulled pork and then their salad bar was amazing and then they had like cut up like cubes of cheese they had hummus they had everything that you could imagine and all the food was absolutely incredible but they also had like this cool shrimp cocktail thing as that was all laid out there too which i've never seen before that was really neat and then they had potatoes and steamed broccoli and rice and mac and cheese and then they also had well this is another view of the chicken tenders which i didn't get any but they looked really really good here's the outside or outside like eating area they had a really big eating area inside but people were eating and i felt weird filming them so i didn't but the outside area was really cool i got a salad to start with it was like a pear gorgonzola salad it was so good y'all it was absolutely amazing i also got pulled pork and broccoli and tri-tip to start with and i also got a second plate of that salad as well because like i said it was so freaking good about an hour to eat dinner which was more than enough time and we made it over to the studio tour to get onto our terror trolley instead of a tram we got onto a terror trolley it was so cute we also got our photo with santa from violet nights it was very very cool Experiments. 
Cantankerous Karens, hostile haters, entitled teens, or irritating influencers? <laughs> then call the exterminators today and make your human problems go away. Hi, I'm Larry Larva. Did you know 90% of all life forms on this planet are insects? Oops. The only human aside on the market that's guaranteed to kill humans? Dead. It looks like a milkshake, it tastes like a cheeseburger. <laughs> and it smells like warm apple pie. Humans can't resist it. Just one taste and they're screws. 100% guaranteed or your money back. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Just ask one of my quintillion satisfied customers. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Call the exterminators today. Because humans are a pest! <laughs>
Oh, and also last one walking in it and honestly I got so scared. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 This whole like movie making thing, it's a really profitable business and people really love movies. It's like tonight, you can still hear squawking and screaming of all those poor slaughtered chickens. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a little silly one we like to tell our story, studio tour. Uh, but this next, next one is, this one's actually a factual story. Leave it, Google it. Frank Stites. March 16th, 1915, at Universal Studios Hollywood. So Frank Seitz was a performer here at Universal, but he was not just any ordinary performer. He was a stunt pilot. He did stunts for all the big movies back then. Now keep in mind, movies back in the 1915s, 1920s, and 30s, they were like 15, 20 minutes long. They're not like Marvel's Endgame, where it's like three hours of just like constant explosions and buff Chris and Different times back then. Um, so he, for opening ceremonies, was performing some stunts in his aeroplane, but something happened that day on March 16th, 1915. Something unfortunate happened with his aeroplane. We're not quite sure what happened. Maybe there was a, um, a misfire with his fuselage, something hit the propellers of the engine, or something happened. So unfortunately, he crashed right here on the western sets, the sets that we are currently driving through. The oldest sets in the Universal Lot, mind you. So he crash lands here on the Universal Lot in front of thousands of odd-looking guests. And according to the coroner's report, he landed in just such a way that his spine shot through the top of his skull. Kind of like Mortal Kombat style. Uh, and some say, on nights like tonight, you can still hear the propellers of Frank Sykes flying above the Universal Lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be really bad because this 
ghost haunts the western lodge and three part to come after me and kill me in my sleep. Um, but we actually do have some ghosts over here at the Universal Lodge. I mean, after 180 years of movie making magic, you're bound to have a few skeletons in your closet or underneath the pavement, as we like to say here in Hollywood. Um, there's ghosts over there on the western lodge, but they're actually one of my favorite ghost stories is a personal one. So as tour guides, we have the ability to kind of walk the Universal Lodge whenever we want to make sure our material is up to date to see what productions are filming over here. And one Halloween evening, in fact, last year, me and a couple of tour guide buddies were walking the sets of Little Europe, which is coincidentally home to the monster movie and the horror movie genre. So we're walking through Little Europe, and at night, Little Europe is pitch black. It's kind of like this. It's very dark and spooky, spooky. So we're walking through Little Europe, and all we have on us, me and my three tour guide friends, is one little flashlight. So we're looking through Little Europe with our one little flashlight, but suddenly, we get to a portion of the European lot where it's this really old building, it's three of them, they kind of form this little courtyard area right across from the train station from the good place. And so we get to that little courtyard, we call the Court of Miracles, and suddenly the lights start flashing on the building. So like, it's a little weird, but you know they're old buildings, old electrical equipment, but then suddenly, out of nowhere, it goes pitch black. And I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a little weird, it's a little scary over here. But then out of nowhere, they come back on. I'm like, okay, that's really weird. I'm, I'm getting really uncomfortable. There's this weird, like, this weird, icky feeling I'm getting. Like, someone's watching us, or something, I should say, is watching us. So I turn to my poor guy's body, Kyle. I'm like, Kyle, we should probably get out of here. But then I see Kyle is staring up at one of the buildings. So I'm like, hey, Kyle, what's wrong, buddy? And he points up to one of the windows and says, there's somebody up there. And sure enough, I look up to that window, and there is the figure staring down at us shadowy figure off of the second story window of the European set. And at that point, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not trying to be the first killer in this one movie. I'm getting the hell out of here. And that is my universal ghost story. Now, I know this ghost stories were so terrifying. I see you guys crying and trembling and shivering with anticipation. Yes, thank you for those who got that one. Uh, but I think it's time we up the scare factor, if you will. We are heading down to the lower lot to go through some of the most terrifying neighbors here at Universal Studios, Halloween Horror Nights. We've got straight to things from before, Holidays in Hell, Exorcist the Believer, and of course, The Last of Us. Now I will preface this, The Last of Us House is based on the video game, so there is no Daddy Pascal tonight. Ah. I know, I know, when I heard that I was like, no, not Daddy Pascal. I miss him so much. Granted, I never met him, but if I did, I'd probably miss him. Um, so since this is the last time we're going to be on the trolley, make sure you gather up all of your loose belongings. Bags, backpacks, cell phones, wallets, keys, dignity, whatever you've left on board. Make sure you gather all the belongings. We're also going to open up this ice chest one last time in case you after we got off of our terror trolley, we kind of met over near Jurassic World and then we actually walked over to go over to Last of Us and The Exorcist and Stranger Things and Holidays in Hell. I just love like the blue stick, like glow stick so much. It just makes me so happy. Like I said, all of my years of going to Horror Nights as either a guest or working it, I've always seen people in RIP and I just always thought they looked so cool being behind their guide. So I was just really excited to finally be on the other side of it. It was just really, really exciting, y'all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
really cool props in here for Blumhouse. I'm standing right in front of the doors because I really, really want to try and go see Megan in the very front. So yeah, so we're waiting here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. Jose, Alex, perimeter check. My impressive facility, Dickie. Now you're uh, absolutely sure that we're safe here. 100%, sir. We're miles offshore, no one even knows we're here. My husband and I are very serious about the purge. Yeah, yeah, it's all good for the good of the cause, right? I mean, uh, where's this uh, safe room? Uh, yes, sir. Could you step aside, hon? <laughs> Sorry about that, sir. No. For the sake of discretion, I haven't discussed this with any of my team, including my wife. Upstairs, third level, there's a hatch. Inside there, you'll find your safe room. All for yourself. Oh, and that live stream that's all been set up in there? Yes, sir. CCTV, security cameras, all of Los Angeles County. Fantastic. You know me. I'm once the purge starts, I love watching these thugs just tear each other apart. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I know you want to settle in, sir, but I have your post-purge agenda to review. Um, there's a 9 a.m. press conference highlighting your role as the founding father of the purge. It's funny. The voters love me. Because they love the purge. Yes, of course. <laughs> and here is a statement I prepared. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect as always, Beth, in every way. Always in the right place at the right time, aren't you? You're like the daughter I never had. Thank you, sir. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the initiation of the 2023 purge. This annual event has been authorized by the U.S. government and weapons of Class 4 and lower have been approved for use. All other weapons remain illegal during this 12-hour period. Beginning at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be permitted. Once the purge concludes at 7 a.m., emergency medical services will be deployed. Blessed be our new founding fathers in America, a nation reborn. Oh, that sound gives me tingles, Nikki. I feel like a 
kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> Dickie, is that one of our helicopters? Oh, well, you know what? Just go ahead and signal them. Let them know it's me. Uh, sir, I think maybe you should come down. Well, you know what? Why don't you try smiling for you?
flank him. Jose, behind you.
Kids RIP is the most worth it thing in the world. I have only ever done express and then regular ticket and then gone as like an employee. And that's the only time I've ever done horror nights before. RIP is the best experience ever. Oh my gosh, the food, the express ticket is of course amazing. And you're able to go into the mazes unlimited amount of times. So for like the, uh, the normal express ticket, you can only use it once per maze. RIP, you can use it all the times. Our guide was the best. He was so amazing. He was like all of his stories before the um, before all of the mazes and everything that we went into. Like he gave us a full background story of everything. He was the best. So worth it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the food incredible. Um, so we were in a group of twelve people, and we had such a good group. It was someone's birthday in our group. It was um, one people, one couple. It was our first time ever being there. It was such a good group of people. It was so much fun. Um, oh, it was so cool because there were so many experiences that were only specific to RIP. So we got like our own photo ops that were just secreted that were so cool. Um, we also got our own maze, like our own maze, a part of Terror Tram. Like, and it was a fully full with all actors and everything. Like I had no idea what to expect and it was so cool. I was the last person in the group and I kept looking behind me because I kept getting so scared. Um, wow, just this event this year, I think it's one of the best years of Halloween Horror Nights ever. Every single maze is just fantastic. This year, they are just literally killing it. They're so freaking good, so scary, oh my gosh. And just all the mazes, like, sometimes there's a few years where it's like, oh, like, I like that maze, overall it was cool, and then you have, like, your favorites. When I went opening night, my favorites were Chucky and Last of Us. All the mazes were good. Those were just like my favorites that stood out. This time around, oh my gosh, my favorites are definitely Evil Dead and Monstros. Oh my gosh, Monstros dropped me. Oh my gosh, there was this one scare that was like this like big bird man, I'm forgetting his name, like this big one. And this other one came out of nowhere, literally dropped me. Oh my gosh, it was so scary. And then the Evil Dead maze is just terrifying also. Like that one scared me so many times. Oh, I got scared a lot. It was so good. I, like, I just literally cannot go on enough about how amazing it is. Just how amazing the event is this year. It's so good. Um, I was wearing my Holidays in Hell shirt that is for this year. I had to represent. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, it's just such a good year. Um, I really liked the Exorcist maze when I first went it the first time. And then after I saw the trailer for Exorcist Believer, I liked it even more. Like it just made more sense and everything. Was, oh, and then the blonde house show oh my gosh I was bummed because of opening night we just ran out of things to do we had the express well we didn't run out of things to do but we ran out of time we had the express ticket but just trying to fit everything in we did get a chance to make it to Blumhouse and I'm so excited that we did this time because I love the movie Megan so much I think it was so good and I got to meet Megan oh my god I got to take a photo and then they had the show and it was so good oh my gosh we got front and center for it that was so amazing wow it was just such a great night i cannot speak highly enough of this year and just of everything oh so much fun rip is so worth it if it's in your means i highly suggest doing it at least once one year it's totally worth it it's so worth it our guide was phenomenal oh my gosh he was literally the best he made the whole the whole thing he told us ghost stories i'm so excited to like watch back the footage I just filmed. I'm already excited to watch all of it back. I just got home. So yay. Um, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. I know it's been a lot of haunt videos um, with opening weekends and everything. All of the opening stuff. So I know it's been super heavy with like Halloween stuff and I'm trying to pepper in stuff that isn't Halloween and haunt stuff because I know other people aren't into that. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Oh, <laughs>